going to grab the forehead. We do have wrinkles in our sculpt, so we'll line those up later. Right now, I'm just trying to get some skin texture on this guy. Now we'll do the nose. For the nose, I'm gonna grab up into the forehead area, all the way down, just kind of grabbing that T-section of the face. So this image is a lot larger. Get this into a rough position. Just warp it a little bit so that we can get that nostril into place. I'm gonna make sure those eyebrows are somewhat lining up. Okay, now when doing the nose, we've already textured the sides of the nose, so all we wanna worry about is just the center section, because if we project our texture on the side, it's gonna streak, it's gonna cause, you know, some of this sort of artifacting here, so we don't want that. So we'll just hide, mask the entire nose, and then we'll just come in here, and we'll paint in the areas that we want, and we'll just blend it in, just like that. Notice that one side is in shadow, the other side is not, so we'll be taking out those shadows, our post-texture process. So we'll have a little bit of cleanup in the nostril. Okay, so for the, the mouth, we'll go ahead and project the front of the mouth, but we'll use a different texture. So for the mouth, we're going to use this guy, because we don't want facial hair on him. But this guy has a little bit of 5 o'clock shadow, so we'll use him. I'm only going to grab half of his mouth, because you'll notice his mouth is very asymmetrical. Our mouth is a little bit more symmetrical than that, so we're going to paste it. We'll scale it, rotate it, just so that we're getting it in the rough area. Now if I turn off my shaded layer, you'll notice that the colors are very different. So we're going to have to do a little bit of color correcting on this guy. So I'm just going to go with the curves. I'm going to hold down my Alt key. You'll notice my cursor is changing. It's only going to affect that layer. It's not affecting the other layer. So, you know, once again, that's just holding down my Alt key and just mousing in between. Right now, if I click it, it's going to break the connection and this will make the connection. So what I want to do is I want to get this value to match the rest of his face. So we just move this value up to around there. And you can control your RGB values too. So we can drop the red if we want, or we can pull the red up, pull a little bit of blue out. Out. too much green we'll go with that for now just want to make sure we're just going to do only half of the lip for now we can clean this up later make sure I'm on my mask what we're gonna do is just paint in where that five o'clock shadow should go where those face whiskers are gonna be at now we'll grab the chin area now for the chin I'm gonna grab the whole thing you'll notice that it actually I'm gonna drag it above that layer reset this one back to that layer you'll notice that I need to apply the same settings for that so what I can do is I can just copy this drag it above this one so now my skin value should be pretty close to the same mask that is what I wanted once again I'm just going to soften this up a little bit I'm going to merge these if I have two masks if I merge and I preserve it's going to save the one on the bottom I don't really care about the mask at this point I'm going to hit apply and it'll just create an empty layer I'm going to duplicate it and go to edit transform horizontal you just mirror this over I can clean this up later it's our nose I have our forehead preserve that layer Okay, we want to do a little bit of cleanup on the eye. So what we'll do is we'll grab this guy's, we'll grab this left eye or his right eye. I'm just going to grab half of it with the entire tear duct. And this process is basically just, you know, it's the same thing over and over. You just have to pay attention to, you know, your texture, you know, what areas you're lining up to. And it's mainly just the main thing is just making sure that you don't get yourself in too big of a hurry. Because if you start rushing, you're going to start making mistakes and before long it's going to take you longer to clean up your mistakes than it did to actually create than it would to create a texture so just take your time on it don't get in a hurry 